Okay, in terms of the TV, I uh, had this cover made for it. Uh, just to show you, first of all, this whole TV and monitor swings out. And the cables are here for it. That's a power cable and that's a USB-C cable. You could run a HDMI. Uh, there is two channels. They both feed into that cupboard with the computer I showed you a minute ago, and they, they, they run that way. This is a pull-through um, in case you needed to pull another cable in. So that's why that's here. Uh, then again, in here, uh, not sure if this one has a pull-through, but it's quite easy to fish a cable down this one. This is in case you want a cable to come out on top of the table, which I'll pull out. Um, so two different runs you'll see from in the cupboard there. So I'll just close that. <clears throat> so it's really, really secure when it goes back in with the carpet there and the design of it. So, you know, it does need a bit of pressure to put it back in. Just press on the frame there. You can undo this. I usually pull it out, actually. Get rid of the... Strap. Then it's just this is just hooked on with Velcro at the corners, all the corners there. So take that down, put that in the cupboard. Then you get your monitor. It's on a tilt bracket, so when it's flat back like that, that's actually pretty good for when you're in the bed and watching it from the rear when you swing it out. I'll show you that. When you sat at the table though, what you want to do is just pull the top corners, and you can angle this forwards. Not to be as much as this. Um, but you do just want to angle it forwards a little bit. Now to open the table, it's got two catches. There's a yellow one here and one here. These press inward, and then when it's pressed inward, you can pull the table out. So to push it back, it will actually lock, so it won't move again. Then press the catches and pull. It's pretty easy to do. You, you, you press them in, you lift it up a little bit or wiggle it, and it will just come out. Table you can set any way you want. It will go to the very end there, and it'll even go a little bit further than that. That's the full table width now. There's plenty of room here uh, for when you sat down. I did try a few different things. I had a little bit wider to start with, and then with the seat and everything, you don't need as much, so modified it. And this is a very comfortable sort of table to have now. And you see it's just above there. Now, in terms of that, when you want to get access to the bed, you can actually still get out here if you want if you've got things on the table and stand up and move over but it's just as easy sometimes just to push it a little bit move your things and you can come over here again you can push it in all the way if you want okay so in terms of using the computer just open the cabinet here i'll just fire my computer up so you can have a power cord that's in because my laptop um, can take power from a USB I'll turn the monitor on here so that's using now the inverter charger so you've got to make sure that this is on generally it's always on when it will start up there <clears throat> I've got a USB-C cable here now this cable is a really long one and the reason for that is it can actually feed there's some holes here the ventilation again they go through into the next cupboard and what i found is quite nice is that you can actually have a tablet as well or something else and it can feed all the way through so if you get the back of the bed there and you want to change the channels or do something you don't need to go forwards and connect things up all the time there we are comes up there so uh, i have a remote remote keyboard and mouse that i normally use on the table i don't have them with me at the moment so i'll just put this in uh, there we go. Fingerprint to sign in. So once I've got that set, I can close my laptop and I can go in the cupboard here. Out of the way. That's what that table for at the top. And you can close this up as well. Push this screen back. Just push the corners there. or lock in. Pull and open this here. And if you want to watch it from the bed, what you'll see now is that, generally speaking, it slides back on its own, you see? So what these cubes are for, uh, I forget which one now, but one or the other, uh, they generally hold it at a square angle. That looks about right, one's slightly bigger than the other. So you have to experiment a little bit till you get the angle you want. And that's pretty much perfect. And now you can come all the way back. So you've got pillows and everything, and you've got the bed here where you can uh, view the screen. So generally works very, very well.